Hello, everybody. Well, I got a comment from Corey. Now, Corey, is, he's been with me, with me ever since from the very beginning when I made my first Just All in One Resort sale. And um, I, there, are, there are times I don't hear from him for months on end, and all of a sudden he'll pipe in. And <laughs> he'll direct me to something. He left me a, a link to a file that they use uh, for his... Um, his clan for Day of Defeat uh, called the Realism Mod. Um, so I just I'm gonna install it now. Uh, it's gonna look a little confusing to you uh, how I'm doing it. I'll try to explain a little bit, but you know it's. I just want to get the mod installed and take a look at it. So I'm just gonna give you a, an insight as to how I install certain mods. All right, so let's go and find myself on mod. Uh, that would be on G. Oh, there it is, Day Defeat. And there's the Realism Pack. Alright, let's uh, run my Sandboxy. Now, Sandboxy uh, allows me to install things outside of my system. It, 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 it's like a virtual machine sort of thing, in a, in a sense. It's a virtual box. And whatever I do in that virtual box is kept out, outside of my system. So anyway... We're gonna just install that in the C D O D for right now. Yeah, I wanna recreate it. Like I said, this is now installing outside of my system. It's installing in my hard drive, but it's installing these files into a virtual box. It doesn't add anything to my registry or anything like that. Okay. New. Let's go to my sandbox here. DOD, and those are the files that installed. Let's tune this down a tad here. Okay. Now let's go to where I have Band of Brothers installed. Now, I have DOD, the game on Steam, and I also own Half-Life. So, if, if you have Half-Life installed, it's going to install the mod DOD. Anyway. And if you don't have Half-Life installed, it's going to install the DoD version. Anywho, let's get on with this here. So I'm going to go to my DoD directory. Now, I happen to use uh, the uh, KSGME. It's a generic mod enabler. It allows you to uh, install mods uh, over games that may or may not support mods as far as overwriting files. Uh, and what this does is it allows me to um, install my mods without it'll back up everything that it overwrites or it's going to replace so it keeps your main files safe and sound so anyway let's get on with this I'm going to make a new directory here called Corey's Realism Mod I'm going to install everything except for I'm going to copy everything over except for the uninstall effect. Okay. And I'm going to go into my sandboxy program and delete the contents of my sandbox. Bloop. Now, if I go back into my sandbox, it's going to show up as empty, which is what it should be. Okay. Okay. Now let's read the readme. Always read the readmes. Important. Extract C. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Make sure to write the old file. Gotcha. See, this way, when I use JSGME, I can activate the mod and deactivate it without damage hurting my files. The config and uh, config or use a config to be open, edited, and saved with Notepad. Okay, gotcha. Open user config. It should look like this. Okay, well, let's do that. Uh, that's what it looks like. Okay. Okay, now close the user config and open the config config. Alright. Now in my JSTME Corey's Realism mod folder, I don't have the config config, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab my config. I'm going to copy it. Go back into JSTME, Corey's Realism mod, and paste it in here. 
so that when I activate the mod, it's going to activate it. So let me see. This is what they want me to add to the bottom of the config config. So we're going to copy that. Open up my config config. Go all the way down. And put that in there. We're going to save it. All right. start the exec up. Now I'm going to install the map packs first. The reason why I don't have it installed right now um, is because uh, Half-Life downloaded an update today. So. Small little update. And then we're going to install Core's Real Realism mod. Okay, let's close on. Let's quit that music. Let's exit out of my sandbox. Free up memory as much as I can. Click on Steam, day defeat. Ooh, look at that. Let me just move this up here. All right. Let's, uh... New game. Okay, new game. Let's go to a, a map that's not hard. seconds. Let's take a look at this. Alright, let's take a look at the... Alright, now pressing I... Oh, it changes my... Uh, icons look like. Okay, looking good. What's the map looks like? That looking good as well. And like I said, I mean, Corey used this with his clan. Um, I didn't know he had a clan for uh, for um, Day of Defeat. I think that's cool. Quite cool. Let's go here and lay some whoop butt on these guys. How you like that? Let's see what this is. people we got here okay we got servers full I think you can ex actually extend on that um, someone just took a pot shot at me there there Where everybody 
somebody's out here. Pop them. See if they do anything with the scope. Now, this particular, um, you see, when you're placing weary points down, right? You've got to. Um, oh, they've taken everything. Um, you have to be careful with how you're doing that. Uh, I haven't come across one blinking waypoint. For this particular map that worked, so I had to do my own. That forces the, the bots to go up the, the flagpole or the, the telephone pole uh, in order to cut the wire. No waypoint does did that, so I had to create my own, and uh, got it to work rather well. What I did do was remove all the waypoints going into here because I I noticed that there was a major cluster poop going on. With bots. telephone pole and getting the box to do it it's not difficult to do it's just um, get down, get down. getting the box to do it with a little there we are because you'll have a number of bots trying to jump up for that trying to climb the telephone pole um, like I said, I was able to, so. There we go, we got the telephone wires. Whoa. Not a good place to be, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll set myself right up around here. So I can cover that area there and here. And the thing is about waypoints is if you're going to create a waypoint and you come to a place that you need to jump, if you can't jump up once and make it, then don't put a waypoint there because the bots are quite stupid. They're going to do exactly what. There we go. Pop your pickle. Um, there are waypoints still I'm still having to look at. Uh, even though. Whoa. Oh, the Ooh. What's the scope look like? Ooh. Good. Uh, no explosive bags. No satchels anywhere. Cooper scooper. Now I am going to eventually look for the original Day of Defeat, the very first version that came out. And I'm going to try to get that working if I can. Yeah, 
got it done. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Did a nice job on the scope. Yes, I like that. This is beautiful. I love the way that is. Yeah, definitely. It allows me to see. Eat that one. Didn't even know he was there. Didn't even know. Good. So that's the tank. Come on, do something with that tank guy. the front door right on guys good 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 kill good kill do something with that tank will you guys all right i guess i'm gonna have to do it for myself oh crap. i didn't pick up a shot did i yeah i didn't oh i do have a satchel oh crap Okay, that was close. I pulled the trigger. I pulled the trigger and it didn't fire up for me. Alright. Not a big thing. See what I'm saying? They, they get lost. If you don't set, if you set up far too many waypoints, they'll cluster up a bit. And that's not what you're wanting. You don't want them to cluster like that. I mean, when you get to hang a laying waypoint to this game, you can do it very fast. And I mean fast. Yes, 
Oop. Oh crap, crap, crap. I pressed the wrong key. <laughs> uh -huh. See, and the thing is here is that the person who did the waypoints here, they didn't add waypoints around. Yes, and so you get that that cluster. All right, let's just uh, end this. Let's take that tank out. Um, yeah, it's because I came across that problem when I first played the game, and when I decided to make my own waypoints, I decided to give one waypoint that brought you across the bridge, but the numerous waypoints that brought you around it. That way, it uh, didn't end up like this. You see? Too many waypoints can really end up really costing uh, your bucks at the time. Learn rate's at 600 right now. We're going to bring that to 300. The higher the learn rate, the more your bucks will spend time on learning. your learn rate, the higher the bots about to go to learn the map. The more time they'll, they'll spend learning the map. Like, let's put it to 1,000. You should never do this, but now the bot should immediately start learning the waypoints. And when you finish the map, it's going to um, save the learn uh, 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 it's going to save a learn file and when you load a map it's going to load that learn file for that map so look I'm just going to dump it down to 300 see they're all clustered down there and that should not be waypoints properly. Like I said, I mean, if you're going to, uh, you don't want to be using parts of the map that are going to cause a huge cluster, a buildup of um, bots. Explosive on the little turd. My own guy killed me. Or no, that was them, wasn't it? Yeah, it was them. See, they're all clustered here. And they're clustered here. See, that should not be. Uh, oh, that should not be. Okay. I want to take that tank out. That's my primary mission right now. So, so we can win this.
close to it. Every time I get close to it. Oh crap, there we go. Don't these guys ever pick up the satchels? Picking up the satchels, they're just not. Expired. Okay, folks, take care. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now. Oh, and uh, thank you very much, Corey. I appreciate it. I, I like it, actually. Thanks.